Hello traders, hello everyone, and welcome to another video which will be on cryptocurrency space. So as you know, cryptocurrencies are in downtrend and unfortunately I have to say that looks like that there is room for even more weakness after this recent recovery. We are seeing um, crypto total market cap still in downtrend, uh, looking for a break out of a triangle and same thing uh, we can spot on many different major uh, cryptocurrencies. So if we go um, at the charts here, well, I have um, Bitcoin here and notice that we are observing a counter trend movement on Bitcoin. Actually, we are tracking few different wave counts, but at least in the short term, each wave count suggests that we will see another low. Okay, so ideally the market will retest this these levels from start of May and then potentially support, find a support uh, during summer around 22,000, maybe even high, higher, around 23,000, okay? So the idea is that this trend is still, that bears are still in full force and that we are not seeing any reversal in trend just yet, at least not from confirmation point of view. Uh, but later this year, I'm still optimistic and I think that we will see some rally. If suddenly this, uh, Bitcoin would jump above and back towards 40,000 very strongly and break this trend line. And then we see a multiple daily closes above these trend lines. It means that market would make confirmation that this breakout is really happening. Then, of course, I would adjust the fuse. But as long as we are trading below this trend line, I think that we should be aware for another dip. Why? Because if you look closely here on the four hour time frame, you can actually see that there is a free wave rise. Okay, and always when you see this free wave rise, well, this is the very important counter trend movement, especially when a higher degree trend is down, like in our case. Also, this trend line held quite well here when you connect it from, uh, from March of 2022. Also, notice that uh, the price is now trying to break this trend line, or we are actually already below this line. So it looks like that there more weakness could be coming. Okay, um, also, what is concerning is that I'm looking here at um, this is the overlay chart with the S&P 500 and you can actually see that S&P 500 has made quite nice um, reversal from the lows over the last few weeks but this Bitcoin is still struggling so if we'll see crypto uh, if we'll see stock market uh, making a very deep pullback let's say that S&P 500 moves back towards 4000 then I think that Bitcoin could actually be uh, could be retesting the loss very soon. Okay. And now let's take a look also uh, also on um, on Ethereum. Now Ethereum is also, in my opinion, in uh, final stages potential of a very big flat correction here. So um, that's quite bullish outlook when you look more into the future. Let's say for the next uh, few years or so. But as long as the market is trading down the bear trend is here, okay? For confirmations, you always need to see an impulsive reaction from the lows. That's very important for those who are more short-term oriented, oriented traders because with, if you are waiting on a five-way price first to make sure that there is a bottom, then obviously you will be able to define your exact risk or invalidation level. But as long as you have this downtrend still in play, well, it's very hard to say where market will bottom. We can just assume where it can go from here. And what I see is 1,500, potentially even lower levels could be retested around this trend line. But it's very nice to see this current downtrend coming uh, into the final stages since we are seeing a triangle, okay? so. Triangle is a special type of a pattern where a lot of traders will get confused because they will try to play a breakout on the long side or on the short side. And usually they will give up, okay? But then when finally this range is broken, what usually happens? Well, a lot of traders will try to get out of longs here when we'll see new lows and a lot of traders who are going to short this market will be ready to jump into the short orders okay so what actually happens well both sides of the markets are actually trapped on the wrong side and what happens there is an increase in volatility in momentum and usually you see the final piece of the higher degree trend before market reverses higher because market will normally do what's least expected 
it will if there will be a majority looking to short this market majority to to look for to go out of this market well just be aware that there can be something uh else going on around the corner so what i'm looking at here is we are seeing prices breaking into wave five so wave five as i said is the final stages of a higher um five wave higher degree five wave impulse so i will be looking for potential price stabilization 1500 1300 that's the area where we will be looking for potential rally of course as i said earlier it's not a trend change until you see a trend change okay simple as that so if we'll see a five wave rise from that area that would be very nice because then we would have something more constructive here on the bull side but for now I think that this downtrend is still in play. Now, let's take a look also on NASDAQ 100. I think that this one is quite interesting. Um, why? Because, well, despite the fact that, as I said earlier, we are not seeing this um, cryptocurrency space trying to go higher with the recent bounce on stocks. Well, technology sector, the NASDAQ 100 still has these five waves up. OK, but after each five waves, what you will see is a free wave setback. So there is a very nice support around uh, 12,000 here on Nasdaq. And this maybe could go very nicely with uh, with cryptocurrencies in general, um, where we have this crypto total market cap. Maybe at the same time, we could see a retest or approach to this my levels while uh, Nasdaq 100 could make this higher low. So this is quite interesting development, I should say, especially since I said that we are in a triangle in this crypto total market cap. We see a triangle on Ethereum. So ideally, we are now going to see the final piece down, the final drop before market stabilize. Okay, so I will keep you updated on these developments, especially if we we'll see a break to new low. I will track <clears throat> the next upcoming swings very very closely um also a lot of altcoins are still i mean they are cheap but still in very uh, in very strong downtrend um uh, so i still think that at some point there will be interesting uh, opportunities on the long side um i'm watching this uh, ripple for a while now uh, i think that um this one uh, might miss a lot of potential moves because of this uh, situation, as you know, in, in the US. Um, but if the, if Ripple will win the case, I think that uh, this one could very quickly stabilize quite well. But unfortunately, looking at this again, at um, the intraday charts here, even this structure suggests that we are not bottom yet. But I think that the next upcoming dip uh, could be quite interesting and very close to potential support okay traders thank you very much for attention i hope that you enjoyed this video please give us a like leave us a comment if you have any questions and um, i will make sure to keep you updated with next upcoming posts here on our trading view have a good day bye